Hello, my name is Himmel. I'm a speaker and facilitator living in Melbourne, Australia. And in this video, I'm going to be exploring a framework that can help you figure out what you want to do in life. Now on this channel, we explore tools, ideas, and strategies that can help us live more meaningful, happier, and inspiring lives. And so in saying that, a couple of weeks back, I made this video right here. It was titled, I'm 23 and I have no idea what I'm doing in my life. You can by all means go ahead and watch that before you watch this one. In fact, I'd highly recommend that you do. But in essence, the reason why I'm making this video is because uncertainty is a part of life and it's gonna be there consistently. It's gonna be there when we're in our teens and we're studying in high school, when we go to university or we do something else and then well into our adult life, it will still be there but it will vary in terms of its levels. And when uncertainty is at its highest, when it's at its peak, that when, that's when we get really worried and we get really nervous and concerned about our future and what it is that we wanna do in life. Now, whether you are in high school, whether you're in university, whether you're working, whether you're having a midlife crisis, I'm hoping that the ideas that I share with you in this video can help you get a little bit more clearer about the future that you want for yourself and the people around you. By the way, the three things that I go through in this video, they kind of flow on from each other. So I'd highly recommend watching it in order from start to end. But if you wanna skip around, by all means you can. I just thought it's a really good framework to kind of set you guys up so that you have a really good process that you can follow. So you can dive deep and reflect really well. So you can find out a little bit more about yourself and the type of person that you want to be and the things that you want to do. Okay, so the first thing here is, is take your attention from the outside to the inside. Our life on the daily is having our attention fixated on things that are on the outside. We're watching Netflix, we're scrolling through our phones, we are binging anime, we are studying, we are listening to music, we are reading, right? Whatever it is, right? We are doing all these things and we forget to pay attention to the one person that is there in all those situations and that is you. When I say take your attention from outside to inside, what I mean by that is, is I want you to focus on you. This also includes not focusing on other people. I've done that way too many times before. I've been so concerned about what other people are doing in my life. Oh my gosh, this guy is so much more successful than me. Oh my gosh, he's got like a secure nine to five, well-paying job, right? His parents and everything are so proud of him. Oh, this guy's like living the life, right? Oh my gosh, he's doing so amazing. It's like. I spent a lot of my time being so focused on what everyone else is doing that I forgot to really pay attention to myself. And I feel like personally, if I did pay a lot more attention to myself, then I'd have a lot more clarity on what it is that I want to do. Now, thankfully, in the past few months, I've actually gotten that opportunity. And my gosh, it has worked wonders for me. You see, when we bring this attention to ourselves, what happens is, is it gives us an opportunity to reflect. We can sit with ourselves and in that time, we can see what it is that we actually want. And this leads me on to my second point, which is make time to be alone. When we make the time to be alone, whether it be going on a walk by ourselves, whether it be sitting in silence by ourselves, whatever it is. Even here itself, you might come to your own realizations about who you are and what you want to do. But it's also a fantastic opportunity to ask yourself a few important but simple questions. So the set of questions that I want to share with you is from this framework called the Odyssey Plan. It was developed by these Stanford professors that basically designed it to help people map out their lives. Here's what to do. First, you have to ask yourself, what would my life look like in five years time if I continued to do what I was doing today? The second question is, if I couldn't take this current path, what would my life look like? In other words, what's the alternative path that I would take if I couldn't take the first one? And the third and last question is, what would my life look like if money and what other people thought of me didn't matter? This set of questions is really insightful because I feel like it gives you an opportunity to kind of forecast yourself five years into the future and it gives you almost three different options for you to choose from and you can kind of think about it and reflect and see which one of these options is the best for you or which one do you feel like you wanna have a go at trying. And I think it's even better if you have a rough idea about what it is that you wanna do in the future, but you kind of don't know which option to take. Now, you're not gonna come up with the answers straight away. You might, but I know for sure when I did this exercise only a couple of days ago, it took me quite a while to kind of get really good concrete answers for each of these things. One thing I will recommend though, is I'd highly recommend you kind of sit yourself in a place 
away from tech and use a pen and paper. I don't know what it is about a pen and a paper, but it just adds like another level of like reflection to it. And my last point, number three, carpe diem. Yes, you heard me, carpe diem. And what I mean by that is, is seize the day. I think that's its literal translation. Is it? I hope it is. I think it is. Anyway, what I mean by that in this context is actively put an effort towards one of those paths that you feel the most drawn to. It could be that you end up applying for another job. It could be that you end up picking up a random hobby like coding or playing guitar. It could be that you start a YouTube channel or you start a blog. Just do something because doing something is better than doing nothing. It is so important to start taking action because it's so hard to be concerned and anxious and worried about the future if you are actively making effort towards creating it for yourself. If you're kind of just sitting there and let the worry and the anxiety overtake you, then you're going to continuously feel stuck and overthink. I felt like that so many times before and it's not a good feeling at all. And so in summary, bring your attention to yourself, think and reflect on what you want your future to look like and go and do something about it. Subscribe if you haven't already, like the video, comment on the video, and let me know your thoughts and your learnings. And one last thing that I wanna leave you with is if you've done everything that I've pointed out in this video, but you feel like you still have no idea what it is that you wanna do, then give yourself the time. Like, chill, enjoy life, relax a little. Don't take life too seriously. You're probably really young and you don't have to be too concerned about what it is that you wanna do in the future. I'm still trying to figure it all out. I've got a better idea about what it is that I wanna do, but I'm still more often than not unsure, but I've learned to be comfortable with that. And so can you. Good luck, all the best. I'll see you in the next one.